If you like what you're hearing on the phillytech.org netcast network, please consider supporting the network with a small monthly donation via patreon.com slash phillytechorg. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash p-h-i-l-l-y-t-e-c-h-o-r-g. And thank you in advance. You're listening to The Interview Show with Seth Goldstein on the phillytech.org netcast network. Thank you to our sponsors, wistia.com, Zoho Mail, and getflywheel.com. Hey everybody and welcome to an audio edition, groan, 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 of the interview show. I am here with Gloria, say your last name. Petrucci. Petrucci, <laughs> nice Italian girl. Many of you know her as Callie Lewis of Geek's Life, formerly of Geek's Beat, Geek, Geek's Beat, Geek Beat, <laughs> and this Geek's is plural, it's not plural, and, and also Geek Brief, <laughs> then where you get Correct. your start, right? That's true. Yes, uh, I've start. been going for almost ten years. I am old. <laughs> you're not old. You're you're just fine. Like a fine wine, right? Exactly. So, <laughs> yeah, so Gloria, welcome. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Everyone's so jealous in the chat room over geekslife.com saying, "How did you get the interview? How did you get the interview?" And, and I said, well, "I don't know. I'm special." But asked, uh, well, you, asked, you asked, so... <laughs> I, asked, I interviewed you back when I was doing A2SM as well, way back when. Yeah. So I was like, let's do, let's do a recap since new things are happening out there. And you and Dave are taking the internet by storm, so... <laughs> well, we're trying at least. Trying at least. You're trying at least. And I am a proud patron. And a Thank proud you for that. That means uh, the yeah. world. So patron, patron of Geek Beat and patron of... Which I really liked the new system. That was better. It was easier. And I actually discovered some features that weren't supposed to go live yet, which was kind of interesting. Yes, you did. <laughs> That's what happens when you have Geek's Life open all day long. Right, right. I and open. It's always on a separate screen. It's just, you know, up there. So when you post something, I see something. So. Cool. I love to hear that. <laughs> so, Gloria, how did you get started? And um, where the heck did Callie Lewis come from? Yeah, <laughs> the question of the day, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, I got started way back in 2005. Apple had just released their very first video iPod. It was really cool, and they hadn't done anything like it, and video just, it, it was obvious um, at that point that, you know, audio podcasting was kind of, was there, and a lot of people were doing it. It was this cool new thing, which I was playing around with, and then it became very obvious when Apple released their their video iPod that that's where things were going and so we just decided at that point to to try video um, and you know people got their first video iPods for Christmas and um, it <laughs> sorry <laughs> totally dropping things over here well, that's fine. Um, it's, it's what makes the audio even better in the video right <laughs> What did she drop? You oh, just a she pad dropped. of paper, which I probably shouldn't be using. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, just it, you know, it was it was it became very popular very fast because no one else was doing video at the time. So I was very lucky in terms of timing. Um, it, the, the shows were wretched back then, but you well, know it's what? Fun. They were little <laughs> though, which is kind of funny. Very blurry, Luria. Very blurry, Luria. There you go. <laughs> yes, that's true. Um, and the name Callie, at that, at that point, I had no idea that it was going to turn into what it's turned into. Um, it really and its own persona. What? It's turned, it's turned into its own persona. Yeah, yeah, it has. Um, and so at the time, I was just thinking, you know, no, everybody always screws up my name. I've been called... My people butcher my name, Luria Petrucci. You know, they look at it and they're like, "Oh crap, how do I pronounce that?" Um, <laughs> and so at the time, I thought, "Yeah, maybe I just need to come up with a more uh, you know, American name." And uh, we went with that. And and I, looking back, I I don't think I ever needed to. I don't think that's what 
made what we did uh, work. But, uh, you know, sometimes you make those silly decisions in life and, yeah. and they stick or they don't or whatever. <laughs> yeah, all of us are doing like Loria slash Cal, like Cali slash Loria. Hey, you, you know. Right, right. If you go back in the geek's life, you know, to be in the form of all like, what do we call her? <laughs> like, uh, yeah. uh, what did she want to be called? Like, it was, just, it was very funny, so. Well, as over the, the last, you know, couple of years, uh, I've been, over the last year specifically, I've really been trying to embrace me more. Yeah. And, um, it, and there's a lot that goes into that, but um, through that process and through the geek's life transition, it became important for me to be who I am. Um, and part of that is, of course, my name and, and letting go of the... Um, the veil of, veil. of Callie, you know? Um, and so it was funny. I actually used Luria in a behind the scenes video when we first launched Geeks Life and just saying, Oh, that, hey that, guys. that bugged so many people out. They bugged us all out. I mean, I knew, I, I had known that back when I interviewed you the first time that your name was Luria, but so I was kind of, wasn't that surprised. All people were going ape. Right. But, you know, it was a good ape. It was like... It was awesome. The, it was... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It was amazing. Yeah. And so I didn't intend for... I didn't intend for me to launch Geeks Life and go by Luria. I figured, yeah, maybe over the next five years, I'll start to introduce it more and I'll start to use it and people will become, you know, like Luria and Callie will become synonymous with each other and maybe five years down the road, I'll be able to go by Luria again one day. And just kind of a thought, you know, like not even an intention. Um, but when I used it in that behind the scenes video, it was the, like you say, the outpouring it, it, Everyone the response it. was crazy. And, and then they wouldn't let me go back. <laughs> which, is, which is what you, which, you got to love your community. It loves you so much. We love you exactly. so much. It's like, all right, that's your name now. And it was funny yeah. watching you on Twitter. Um, poor Leo. He was like, Callie, Larry, uh, 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 uh. So we all went through that, but like in text. So even though I was like, Callie, and I was trying to be polite saying whatever, she, let her pick what she wants to pick and just trying to reference it and be journalistic about it. Saying form, formerly known as the artist, formerly known as Callie, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But poor Leo had to do it live. Right. <laughs> and he's Callie, I'm, I'm driving the car. I'm like, Oh, Leo. <laughs> I'm like, oh boy, and he tried for his for his, he did pretty good. So you know, I mean, he's he's always known my name, and, and we've worked very closely together. And uh, yeah. you know, many years ago on on call for help, and mm -hmm. you don't you don't let that up easily. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. That yeah, that's a cute people... name. I like. I think Gloria is prettier, but I think that is a cute name. Sure. But, you know, again, it's not fully who I am. And it did actually cause me over the years to be some, to, to hide, the, not just the name, mm -hmm. but, but, but the, you know, people surrounding me and, and the, the, the choice to use an alias basically kind of started to envelop me. Um, and, and I couldn't. I'd never felt really totally comfortable being fully who I am and letting all of me out. Um, that, that's and, amazing to me. It's such an real fast. That's, that amazes me because literally it started out as something so innocent. Right. But almost like a parasite <laughs> in a good and bad way took over. Yeah. It's yeah, so, it's so it's, interesting that that did it, you know. And I and it's not. Um, it's not abnormal either. Uh, if you if you talk to any you know Hollywood celebrity, I'm certainly not a celebrity by any means, but uh, no, if you, you if you talk to uh, people who use that who use different names, it, they say the same thing. And um, it's it's just an interesting concept, you know, that that yeah. you you create this profile that becomes somebody else. <laughs> It's good or bad? Good or bad, yeah. So um, I, have a, I have a large topic to talk about, women in tech. But let's let's go on to more, so don't get the geek life bandwagon. So I know you went over this plenty of times, and by, by the end of the year, you're going to be so sick of talking about this. Oh, no, not at all. What happens? 
Yeah, I know, but what what happened like, with Geek Speed? Geek, Geek, Geek. It's like, <laughs> all right, so I was talking to Dave earlier, I said, you guys should probably buy Geek's, Geek, Geek Life, because I keep on going to Geek Life instead of Geek's Life. Yeah, unfortunately, we couldn't, and that's the problem with names these days, right, is, is exactly. you, you you get what you can. Um, I like Geek's Life, but yeah, so, so I just go over real quick about, like, what happened, and what happened to the Geek House, and all that stuff, and. Sure. How did you get Geek's Life? So uh, we, we purchased, well, um, we went through the process of, of getting the, the Geek House uh, about, I guess, a little over a year ago. Um, and, you know, I, I had concerns at the time, um, but ultimately it wasn't, uh, it, it wasn't my decision. Um, and so we... Uh, we went forward with it, and uh, and at, at, in the end, uh, we overextended ourselves. <laughs> so it, it, happens. it happens. We, it's businesses vicious. do that all the time. Yes, and and you try things, right? And and they don't always work. Um, and I became very aware that uh, my partner and I were um, going in different directions, and I didn't have full control over. Um, over my my brand that I had spent uh, you know a decade building, and so I decided, you know something, I, I can't I can't let it go down a path that I really don't agree with or that I really can't live with in the end. Yeah. Um, and so, it, you know, I, I just decided after many many hardships and and hard you know conversations and tough decisions mm -hmm. that the best thing in the long run was to go ahead and 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 move out of the geek house cut back our overhead make sure that the team was taken care of um and and that we could continue with the community for a long time to come uh, otherwise that wasn't going to happen Absolutely. I mean, and I mean, so how have, how have you seen the outpouring? I mean, I, I, I've been watching it with, with being very curious about it because some people have been kind of a little bit, not vindictive, but a little bit perturbed. And then I've also seen some people that are like, all right, new chapter, let's move on. You know, like, have you seen that it's been mostly positive? I mean, yes, confusion, but a little bit more positive than negative, or has it been a mix, or... Oh, it's absolutely been, you know, 99% uh, positivity. Um, it's been incredible, and it's not what I expected. I did expect more negativity or more confusion that would lead to negativity, but it was um, it was incredible, and it, it it literally brought tears to my eyes one day. I was like, I, in video, I can't on video, believe. we have it on video, and I'm sure Phil <laughs> in the chat room will make a gif of it. Yeah, yeah, and that was just, it, it was amazing because people supported the decision and they could see that I was having a hard time with it, mm -hmm. but it needed to be done, and I think people understood that, you know, things happen in business, and, and I've been through this before with Geek Brief to Geek Beat. So um, just, folks, even she has trouble keeping up with these names. Yeah. <laughs> Even I do, um, and it's my story, right? Yeah. Um, but it's not it's not that difficult to 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 make transitions. People and businesses do it all the time. Oh, as long they're all hard. A lot of times they're hard. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're they're always difficult. Uh, yeah. and these things never come easy. But yeah, the the community support was freaking incredible. What I saw is it was, it was really amazing. I mean, like I'm one of those first adopters that like, oh, new site. Let me go. Let me go try and break it, which I think I did a few times actually. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote you a few times. I'm like, um, Cali, Lario, whatever to call you. I think it's broken. You know, well, that's how it is with WordPress. The first few times people knock on the doors and it yeah, it goes completely. And um, actually, I was surprised that when Leah, you were on Twit, the the Twit army did, did the Twit army take it down. 
Yeah, they did. They really did. Um, and actually, before, did by accident. He kind of stepped in. Oh, crud. He broke it. <laughs> well, and I know this from my history with Leo, and, and I, I, we had actually increased the server size and load. And before going on. It's wonderful. Before going on, and he still brought it down, um, <laughs> which is always good, though, right? We need to it's know good, it's good our problems. limits. There's also a good joke on the show saying we brought it down. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, all right. So, where do you see Geek's life? I, I got it right the first time here. Geek's life in like in like six months, one year, two years, five years. Where do you see it, like going? Yeah. So, Geek's life is is really all about the community and increase of of um, structure. <laughs> that sounds to uh, maybe businessy, but um, so two, two main goals here. Uh, we, one, my goal from the very beginning of Geek Beat, and it wasn't really moving in this direction, mm -hmm. um, it was to build a business where it's not solely reliant on me. Um, you know, back in Geek Brief, <laughs> I don't know if you remember this, but I had rubella. Okay, so I had rubella, German measles, and it affected my entire body. And I was under contract to 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 do the show, and so I still had to do the show. It didn't matter how badly I was feeling or how sick I was. I even did a show in bed. Um, <laughs> I remember that one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> And, and, you know, it, that really opened my eyes to the fact that looking towards the future, I cannot have a business that is solely reliant on me, not when we have an entire team who depend on this business mm -hmm. in order to feed their families and, and to have a life. They're all a bunch of, you're all, you're all a bunch of characters, you know? Like yeah. Dave, your special friend, we'll call him. Dave. Which Dave? Well, Dave Foster, he's your special. <laughs> oh, okay, David. <laughs> David. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse no, me. that's okay. I, I, I made sure we called him by his, his, his David name as opposed to Dave because we have way too many Daves. And I Dave, I... Dave Peterson, you have Dave Curley, and then you have David Foster. But it's yeah. nice. he's a complete hoot right in there. I mean, he's a total geek. He is. Uh, we that's, all are. He's a total geek. He's one of those cool geeks, you know, hipster geeks. He's and it's been nice because he's, he's kind of coming out more. And Dave Curley's coming out more. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm enjoying seeing the like, almost the looseness of the shows. Like when you were doing the Han Solo belt thing recently. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Curley jumps out in front of the camera real fast. Like the whole beauty of this is that it's not like, I see live television, I see like today's show getting looser with their stuff like, and goofing off a little bit more. It makes it yeah. human. And, yeah. and it's about podcasting and video casting. Of course, Leo hates that, but netcasting, we'll just call it, mm -hmm. is really coming into the mainstream now. What do you think about that? I mean, back when we were doing it back, you know, 05, 06, people were like, that's nerdy. Now everyone's like, everyone and their mother does podcasts. Right. And everybody and their mother is doing tech, right? And Which is one of the... Marketing reasons that that we went ahead and, and expanded to into all of our passions um and so yeah it's you know it's one of those things it's great to see it come from where we were in 2005 to to now and and everybody's being able to embrace it more uh we still have terminology issues as you just uh, just you know, said uh, with what to call it. Uh, I think podcasting is here to stay, but a lot of people think audio is podcasting and video is just called video. And so That's you know, there's this separation that that <laughs> seems to either not happen or happen, um, and so people get confused on the terminology. But that'll sort itself out over time. This is still a very very new uh, medium. Um, but yeah, and so you're right. It's 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 all about the uh, the the relaxation um, and and letting personalities shine through and and allowing people not just me to be the show, but allow all of us to be the show. And and you know what? I don't appeal to every single person in this world. So really? let's give Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, a lot of people find my voice annoying. So, um, you know, I hear that on YouTube all the time, right? So let's get out Dave Curley and let's get David Foster out there and let's get Damani out here and, and 
and so that we have a host, as, as several hosts who who can share their passions and you know people will find so and so better and more likable than than the other person and that's okay um and then the the second part of your question was um Good, I'm glad you were what else I forget yeah <laughs> Um, w w the second part of where the future is, yes, is yeah. the community, mm -hmm. um, in embracing the community more, it, you know, a lot of what people are saying in terms of what they like about geeks life is that they feel like it's back to the old days of geek brief, which is funny to hear. Um, and we are hearing from a ton of people who didn't really like geek beat, um, very much and are coming back around after many years away from yeah, I'm, one, I'm one of them I, I always subscribed I was talking to uh, I was talking to Dave Peterson about this I always subscribed to yeah. Geek Geek to give you the downloads I always was a Patreon because I believed in you guys and stuff like that but it was information overload hmm. it was just so much it was just like but I wanted to encourage it and I always downloaded it every week so you got the download number oh. and I, was, I was very I was very methodical about it but I also I enjoyed like it was a perfect you know when I ran out of Twitch shows to listen to, I'm hardly ever listened. So I went on the Geek Beat and was like, all right, let's listen to Cali this time. Let's listen to John P this time. So, yeah. So, or I would pick and choose what I needed to talk about, you know, like what you were talking about. Oh, I like, I'm interested in that. Let me listen to that, you know. So it was nice. Cool. Well, that's, I mean, but yeah, the, the, that kind of feedback is always, is always good to hear. Um, and it tells us where, where we need to be and where we need to go. Um, Absolutely. But, but yeah, we're, we're looking at ways to really involve the community more um, and make this not only about our passions and our mm -hmm. lives and the things that we um, love, but also, what are the what are people in the community doing? We have Kate Geek, for instance, who's who's on there. His username is Kate Geek, so go check him out on geekslife.com. Um, and he's he's a community member, mm -hmm. and he does like Captain America cakes and cupcakes and yeah. you know, superhero stuff and really cool stuff. Well, we have a ton of people doing really cool stuff out there, and I want to hear from them as well. Absolutely. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want this just to be a one-way street. So we're, we're focused right now, and in the next couple of weeks, you should be hearing some more information about it um, on what that looks like and how we can incorporate that more. That sounds great. So right, here's a question. This is kind of like, I don't know. I, it's a good question. It came from the chat room. Yeah, you know, I went on okay. looking through the chat room before, and I said, "What should I ask Gloria?" And I forget who said. I think this might have been Phil. Go figure. Um, <laughs> go figure. If you want to know about Phil? Go and he's going to be thrilled that we're mentioning him on the podcast. But like, go into the Geek Slaves chat room and just talk to Phil for a little while. You'll see what we're talking about. <laughs> but um, who or what inspires you? It seems like a very um, Regis Feldman, Kathy Ripa kind of question. Are you trying to make me cry? <laughs> I'm not trying to. We're not, not going to be able to see. So as long as, unless you're sobbing, we're not going to know if you cry. So right. what inspires you? Uh, what inspires me is the community's people. Um, I freaking love people, and I always have, and that's what that's what drives me on a daily basis, uh, and that's why I do what I do is not because – I. Honestly, I don't even like being the center of attention. I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not good at parties. I don't like, you know, going to parties and putting myself out there. And I, I'm not. It's so strange to me. What? So you don't have to be. A, I, I just not want you to be the center of attention, but you not being a social butterfly, really? I know I'm not. I, I'm very, very shy, and so that. But but what I do love is I love l listening to people and I love paying attention to people and I love um, hearing people's stories. And that's what drives me is, you know, people like Cake Geek and people like Digital Phil and people like yourself, they, hearing from them, conversing with them, having conversations, um, there's always something going on in the community that inspires me um, or encourages me to, to continue going. Now, here, here, all right, now on to the big topic because I don't want to keep you too long but this is a big topic um, Leo, we're going back to Leo um, <laughs> uh, Triangulation had a, had a filmmaker on that did a film about um, the gender divide in technology yeah 
and someone's dancing over there now. Hang on, sorry. No problem. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> hey, it's, 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 it's the beauty of podcasting. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. All right, the women in technology and the gender gap in women in technology and, you know, the whole thing with um, Clara Perkins... Coffield Buyers, I think I got all the acronym, all the names right in there, um, and you know, the lawsuit that just had let go. What's your take on the whole thing of women, girls, in technology, and the future of that? Uh, well, so I, I didn't see what you're talking about, so I, I, oh. I don't know specifically, but um, just generally speaking, yes. Um, I think it's it's really encouraging, you know, some of the STEM projects that are out there for young kids, um, and you know, there's this uh, there's this conversation happening right now of do we encourage girls to get into STEM or do we encourage every kid to get into STEM, which in turn will increase the ratio of girls in you know, technology fields. Um, now, what is STEM for those? Uh, sorry. Yes. Uh, science, technology, engineering, and math. Yeah. Um, and those are, those are programs that are just specifically targeting those things mm -hmm. uh, in order to, to get people excited. Um, and, and, you know, I think, I think if we look towards the, the far future, just the natural progression of history will, we will wind up with more women in technology. And that's that's a great thing, um, you know. Think about where we've come versus where we're going, yeah. uh, and it just takes time. Uh, and so, I I am going to do in my career everything I can to help encourage that because you yeah. know I I am one of the only women doing what I do. Uh, yeah. There are there are a few of us, um, and. We all love each other and 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 root for each other, but um, you know there could be a lot more. Uh, and I think there's uh, fun and there needs to be. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, it's uh, it's it's an equality issue almost. It's uh, it's also right now where we stand here and now with you know if you think about girls in school, young girls in school, I can remember where I kind of felt um, uncomfortable being smart, being interested in things. Uh, I never let that stop me really, but a lot of girls do. Like they get, um, they get, the boys will get, uh, um, they'll start making fun of girls for raising their hand or for saying something, you know, and then boys there's are the jerks. Whole... I'm sorry. Boys are just jerks. <laughs> you know, I'm one of them, but you know, I try not to be a jerk, but I mean, seriously, right. those are jerks. You know, it's, it's school age, right? There's, yeah, exactly. Exactly. There's not much you can do about that at puberty and, and all of that. Um, but I think, I think if we, as we get a, as we get girls comfortable with being themselves and being um, more involved in these after-school programs, that will certainly help. Uh, I was talking to a father, uh, actually at NAB, um, and uh, he was he was discussing this the same problem, and uh, you know he he said my daughter is really into robotics, but the moment I talk to her about it she starts going away from it um and you know it's funny because, well yeah and that's just a that's just a natural reaction of kids they don't yeah. want their parents to be excited about that or involved in it and and um and so you know parents have to have a a participation in that uh, once you get out of the or the, in a per, let me finish that sentence uh they have to have a participation in it almost by stepping out of it because, mm -hmm. you know, once they hit that teenager status, <laughs> they like, don't, don't, they don't do anything I do. That, they know. don't want anything. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, parents have to, to help encourage it by stepping away. And, and not, obviously I'm not a parent, so I can't 
say one way or another how these things work. Um, but let's let's move a, a little further into adulthood and into the jobs uh, arena. Um, and you know, women, there is a a bit of a problem with women feeling. Um, less than when it comes to technologies, uh, the technology industry. And I, I know that I've, I've felt over the years, um, I've, I've, I've had a lot of success in, in this area, but I've also felt uh, that I need to change who I am a little bit to play the, the you know, play in a man's world. Um, and so that's, that's a problem. Uh, we shouldn't we shouldn't have to do that or we shouldn't have we shouldn't feel like we have to do that so there are a lot of great things happening there are also a lot of issues to be faced <laughs> yeah. um, and it's going to take time uh, for you know just a huge ratio of, of upcoming women you know who are girls now and, and will be uh, coming into this world that uh, that that will that will make it a more even playing field. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so, Laura, I actually oh, just ahead. just so you know, um, I actually am doing a TEDx Women um, talk on the issue uh, coming in May. It's on May 29th here in Dallas. So, will it be video? I mean, after uh, the fact, obviously. Yeah, I, I believe they're videotaping all of them. I don't know how or when they get posted, but I will be sure to uh, yes, grab a hold of that video. Yeah. We want, to, we, want, we want to cheer for you. Rah, rah, rah. Thank you. Well, Marie, <laughs> this has been great. Thank you. You've made my day. You've made my week. 